So yeah, welcome back to uh, Tears of Kingdom. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you have been enjoying the series so far. Uh, Dragon Scale was acquired, so yeah. Nadra go bye-bye for now. Okay. Let me change gear here. Because now we have this thing. And I don't want to go down the rabbit hole of finding Koroks yet, but this area is kind of largely unexplored, I've realized. So there are shrines and stuff to do. Oh. <laughs> Already. I need to reach my friend. Okay. Where is your friend? On a hill? Fuck. Okay. Uh. Okay, so let's just... I mean, I'm running out of fans, so I think I need to make a different flying machine this time. Oh, we're, we're, going to, we're going to we're going to improvise. <laughs> Worst comes to worst, I'll just fall back on the flying device that I usually go for. Okay. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Okay. Right, so... Hold on. Right, so what I need here... It's one of these. We have plenty of these devices. Okay, so... I'm making a makeshift ramp. And I mean, that's a, yeah, I mean, I can, I can course, I can course correct. I can course correct. Okay. This is a little bit of an abomination, but just bear with me. Okay, so now with the second aim at where it needs to be. I'm just doing something to be funny more than anything else. Like, I do have an optimal way of doing this, it's just... Wouldn't this be great if this just worked? Wouldn't it? Right, so this is this is my genius idea, is match the angle. Okay. Three, two, one, lift off. Okay, you know what? It could have worked if I put fans on it. How far up did I get? 
Wow. The ramp was good. It's just the rockets don't last that long. But otherwise, I mean, I, that could have worked if I had just simply attached fans. What the? Oh. Oh no. Come back. Come back! Come back! Okay, I'm just gonna resort to the flying machine. That's fine. Alright. I'll just go get more fans. Yes, Korok's stealing my wings, I know. I've been trying to think on how I can make my Tarry Town a lot more egregious as well. Okay, this needs to be the perfect little hood ornament, otherwise it doesn't work. Yeah, that, that happens. Okay. Why is it... What the fuck? Why is it tipping over like that? Why is its center of gravity so off? Hang on, I need to put this down on flat. Why is this, why is this bad? Oh, that's probably why. There we go. This is going to be problematic because I need to get it on straight, but because of the slope, it's making it awkward. The Korok is so heavy, it, it throws this thing off balance. Okay, that's straight enough. Alright, cool. There we go. Alright. No, it's still ugh, still tipped. A stage rocket thing would be cool. But I mean this physics engine is is impressive already. I would imagine something like that would require like some sort of device that would tell which one to go off and in what order. Okay, there we go. That's the ticket. There we go. It's already tipping. I tilted it a little bit too much, but this is correct now. Now it's balance. It's not very good for transporting Koroks, but it, if I can hang on to the balance. I should have just made the car instead. The car would have worked. Alright, lesson learned. Don't make this thing on angled terrain, it just doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I'm not trying to talk to you. <laughs> just... Hmm. Why is this being weird? What? Brilliant design making the interact and activate and pick up buttons all the same button. Okay. 
How many buttons does a controller have? I don't know, man. There we go. Now it's working. Nah, no, this is just this is just not working. Uh, I'm just gonna carry it, but I'm still gonna keep this device. So I'm gonna fly away in it. I am happy with the makeshift makeshift ramp I made. Okay. Uh, I allow links, but uh, if it's a video, I will 99% not watch it because I'm streaming. Just a fair warning. It's a picture. Picture's fine. Picture is A-OK. -okay. It does not detract too much from what I'm doing. Well, that's just precision. Have I been to what? Like a place that- is that like a special place that does bond me? Did not want to butcher the rest of that pronunciation. kind of how I feel in Breath of the Wild in this game. It's like with this, activate to activate the power of these things. Sometimes I'm just running around picking up stuff and then because they follow me around, sometimes I'll accidentally activate their shit. Jump, interact, activate, pick up, uh, turn on machine, all the same button. Talk. <laughs> this one's probably in a cave. Is that coming back this way, or...? I can't tell. No. It's heading away from it. <laughs> it's a bun me bar. A food blog you watch went to in Melbourne. Okay, hang on. Let me look at where this is. Oh, it's on bridge. Wait a minute. Okay. I have been here. Yes. <laughs> a very, like, yes, I have. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, I didn't, I'm bad with names, but I just saw the address. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, I have been there. We used to have um, an office down that way. Back in, I can't remember what, but you know, yeah. Have been there. I do miss it. It's one of those spots I miss. It's no longer within range, so a bit sad, but yeah. There's quite a few places like that around Melbourne, but that is one of the, the better ones. It was a pretty uh, regular thing for lunch. Uh, the shrine thing's no longer going off. 
A good burn me hits like nothing else. Yeah, especially if they know how to make the bread properly. There's a lot of bakeries that just double up as places you get burn me. You've been playing this game on your own too. Can I give a hint where I get the shrine detector? Uh, yeah, Robbie. There's your hint. <laughs> Just find, find that guy. It says it's below. It's below. So there's this like a. It might be a cave. Hang on. Because just because the shrine is there doesn't mean that the entrance is there, so let's have a look. Oh, there's a Korok camp, but I think I've done that one. Yes, that one's been done. Okay, so we're looking for a cave entrance. I mean, to be honest, I kind of wanted to head towards uh, Lake Hylia and then the Gerudo area, but... I'll look for the shrine at the very least. Found a very tough boss fight with four hearts. It's it's fun though, isn't it? The hands scared the crap out of me. The first time I saw the hands and they came at me, and one grabbed me, I just instantly teleported out. I'm like, oh no, I'm not winning here. Nope, that's it. We're done here. <laughs> I had the the foresight to get out of that. But it's a habit because before this, I was, I was playing through every single Zelda game and. Uh, the way I played Breath of the Wild was how I would challenge myself uh, when I played Zelda as a kid, was just make up rules to make the game hard. So, I finished the, I finished everything with three hearts, basically, on Master Mode, and it took a while, but it was fun. So I was still in that mentality of an anything could kill me, so just, if something was too much for me, just teleport out. Or run. The hands are fine, it's just... Once you know how to deal with them... It's not bad. The one thing I haven't figured out yet is how to fight them with melee weapons. Like, I have to resort to ranged weapons when they appear. Dude, where is this thing? Well, you know what I've been getting into lately, in terms of food, since we're talking about food? I've been eating cheese and meat, <laughs> because potato chips are stupidly expensive at the moment. The insanely expensive. And for what I spend on, say, two bags of potato chips, I can get- a, I can make a cheese platter with some meat. And have that last, like, several- several, uh sittings, I guess. So I've kind of been getting into that. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> if I'm lucky, I can find potato chips for like 4 50 a bag. But most of them, they're gonna be at least five, six dollars. It's it's kind of insane. So I could spend twelve dollars on potato chips, or I could 
take that and get some pretty decent cheese, uh, some crackers or maybe some bread. And then some meat, and then just eat that. Finally enough, you've done a charcuterie for four times in the last two months. It's on the rise, man. Like, uh, I think a lot of people are starting to do them more now. They were saying something uh, in an article recently here that demand for cheese has just gone up a lot, and it's because other snacks are just insanely expensive now. Oh. Don't know how to fight the hands yet. You know, fire, make them lose the puddles around them, and you think you found the other hard counter material to them, but you haven't found, you haven't tried it yet. Yeah. I mean, it's about experimentation. Eventually you'll figure it out. I have my Scorched Earth strategy. <laughs> Just deal with it. Adult Lunchable, yeah. That's that's a good way to put it. But there's like half a block of cheese in my fridge right now, and it's something that I just would never thought would have been a thing for me. Because, I mean, the way that I grew up, man, the fanciest cheese we would have was feta, and the only reason we had that was just because we used to live near a factory where it was made. And so they used to sell it on the cheap because the entire... I'd say the block just smelt like just foot because of the cheese factory. So the compensation was we could buy cheap cheese, but it's a stank where we lived. But aside from that, you know, we're, we're talking about craft singles, man. <laughs> craft singles. You grew up on craft singles as well? Yeah, man. The shit that just... It, it, it's not a good sign when you put that to grill and then it kind of gets like this hard layer if you leave it in too much. That's not what's supposed to happen to cheese. Like this hard bubble. I don't see where this Korok could be. Oh, is it on this naked tree? Maybe? Yeah, it's on the naked tree. Okay. What the? Huh? Why would it? Why wouldn't it latch? Okay. There was also this very cheap, uh, cheese spread as well. That, uh, did the rounds. Okay, so I'm in the vicinity. I wonder if this entrance is maybe a frozen entrance or something. Right, so it's beneath here. I mean, where would it be? Do we have the plastic things with cheese spread and three crackers in them? Yes. They were called, uh, Le Snack, yeah. They were good. I don't know why it had the French sort of name to it, but yeah. There has to be a cave entrance nearby. Oh, what if it's in the waterfall? I never considered that. There's been a few. It's not. Okay. Did 
This is gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> I haven't seen the blue pea either to give me the hint. I mean, those things are still around here. Yes, I know there's a... Below, how? I'm trying to think how else could we get lower. Oh, you know what? Maybe Lanera ruins. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense, right? Like, maybe there's an entrance here that travels inwards. Ah, crap. I'm not sure where that fell. Loose, where is it? Uh... <laughs> it's no easy way to get there. Uh... Uh, I'm gonna be lazy. It's not, it's probably not even there. Okay, let me look here. Oh, wow. No, it is under here. Yeah, this is something that I just did not even think would be here. This is cool. Completely forgot about them until you started talking about the ch the crackers and cheese. Yeah, I mean that's that's childhood. In the last two months, I've had the most cheese I've probably had in the last, I don't know, decade. And in terms of fancy cheese, it's definitely the most fancy I've ever had. And it's not even that fancy. Okay, I, I cannot be bothered with these things. They just do not give good enough rewards. And they just take a while. I'm good. Oh, it's another... Okay. It's another one of these. Okay, listen, chat. We could spend ages. Or we could just make... But you know what? It looks pretty neat. I this would be a this would be the fanciest of bridges. You know, like this would be leading to a castle. Where the king is like known as the eagle or something. Has a headdress. Are we having the pancake party? Well, I need to figure out what I would even do. Because I can't exactly play something while some... ...eating. <laughs> Knowing Zelda would actually be a bird man. Yeah, this is like a Rito village thing. There we go. What else am I going to do with these? I have too many of them. Oh. Did I, did I ever complicate this? Okay, let's see. Yeah. 
Uh, not really. Uh, I would say I, I haven't. I think it's fine. The way I did it. I know there's some internal screaming going on now, but... I want to get more, uh, more photos of monsters, just to make the thing that I've got going on at Tarrytown even worse. The fact you can overcomplicate it and it still works is what makes this a good open world game. Exactly. I've had my galaxy brain moments in this game. When am I going to Gerudo? Soon. I kind of want us to start moving in that direction, but... I mean, I would imagine there's still a few shrines scattered around here and, uh... Like, Hylia. Because I haven't really done Farron. I just find Farron annoying because it's just constantly raining there. But I could always do Farron later. I think the smartest thing I've done in, in this game is just the vehicle I have. Um, for land travel. I can't take credit for the air one, because that one, is, it's, it's done the rounds. But the, uh, the one that I'm using for land travel, that was a happy accident, and it's excellent for, uh, for transporting Koroks. Like, it does it all. Okay, so, here we go. Let them fight amongst themselves. Also, I kick back and watch. Oh, shit. Okay, hang on. What I should be doing... Extra value. Alright. Make it rain. Why is it? Oh man, that is... They are actually murdering each other. Okay, now it's my turn. Right, so here's the galaxy brain move. Hang on, it won't... Okay, first of all, sir, in you go. Ah, side on. Okay, guys, I need you to not touch him. I'm about to end this myself. to do that to get through Trial of the Sword and, and Breath of the Wild. Oh man, the strategies I had to resort to. You hear the sudden urge to hear the Gerudo Valley theme. Which one? I think I know which one. I don't think I need to say it, but I have to ask which one. There are several renditions of it. Okay, I need to look for the bubble frog. 
Where is Bubble Frog? Ocarina of Time. Okay, okay, just checking. Either there's another chamber or you know, I need to be on the lookout for. One thing I did do once whilst playing Breath of the Wild, I kind of played uh, music from Twilight Princess over the top of this. And particularly around Hyrule, it, it worked pretty damn well. I thought I was going backwards that way because I saw the uh, the rock like. gonna have another exit isn't it oh no it did okay now I need to look for this carefully I bet that thing's hiding it. I'm gonna take a closer look near it. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's another passageway here. I just hope the payoff for this is going to be worth it. Ah, here it is. Okay. We go. go along here the two ridges and I think I'll leave this area for now The only thing that I'm wishful for about the Garuda area is that they finally let me into the town without any bullshit. I saved their asses in the last game and still did not accept me. You're happy they brought the mask back. I 
I would not have done the Koroks without this mask. I mean, I think this time around, there aren't as many obscure ones. I think a lot of them, they're, they're better this time around. I found quite a bunch of them before I even got the mask, like almost 300. And that's without even really um, going out of my way. Like that was just as I was exploring, as I saw something, I never really... Like if you compare this map to my Breath of the Wild map, I haven't exactly, you know, looked. <laughs> So it is a massive improvement. However, I still think the reward's going to be bad. <laughs> I just what what could they possibly do to it to make it worth that much effort? I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I'll, I'll take that. Got a chest over there. What is that? No, it's a... Lone trampoline and <laughs> oh, whoops, <laughs> it's just going to be more gold poo, most likely. Yeah, this is this is awkward. I just love when I talk about that reward. Just people think I'm being facetious, just trying to tell a joke that the reward is shit. It's just it's quite literally that. No matter how many times I see that enemy, it still scares the crap out of me the first time I play. Just the sound effect, because I don't- I'm still not used to it. It just... Hasn't clicked that the trees can be alive. Another parade. I mean, this one's only blue one, so I think we're good to skip it. Not a whole lot of value out of that. I've been trying to fight more in this game to make up for all the lack of fighting in the previous game. Dun 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 dun! No? I thought it was. Oh, it's the Hinox. It looked like it was a sizable one enough. I'm not... I don't know if I've beaten this one. I don't think I have. Um, Alright, since I haven't beaten this one, let's just... I've been trying to stay on top of, uh, fighting each Hinox and everything. What? 
I think I have to just move out of frame and come back. Uh, doesn't quite wake up right away. Alright. Wakey wakey, Stalnox. Ooh, we got fireflies here. I need more of those. Uh, hang on. How's it still not working up? This is what I dislike about these particles, is it? It tricks you into thinking there's... There's bugs, but there's none. Okay, now there are. How's it not working up? Oh, nope. <laughs> I hear the music, where is it? Directly above me, which... Oh, I know where it's headed. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> so more than one distraction at a time. I know, I know where it's headed. It's headed for the Kakariko village thing. I'm right next to it. So I can probably catch it and get... I need a fang. I don't have a fang yet. I wanted to fight the Stalnox, but it's not waking up. All right, let me just mark it. I'll come back to it. We should change gear so I don't get frozen. I feel like you're watching a study on ADHD. Well, it's not like I went ooh a dragon and then completely forgot. I am still well aware of what I was trying to do. It's just that it wasn't happening, so prioritizing. This is something I can action and achieve. The shooting star is over there as well, so... But this, this, this is definitely terrible if you have ADHD. I need to shoot it in the mouth as it comes down. The other drag- oh no, that's the light dragon. Ooh, the light dragon's here too. I might be able to get both. Okay. Go to the tower immediately after. Okay, just checking that I have arrows. Alright, go. Mm. 
Nice. Beautiful. Okay. Um, let me swap to... Standard boat. And let's... Go here. <laughs> bones in the ground. Wait, fireflies. Wait, bones. Wait, dragon. Wait, bones. Wait, dragon. Wait, second dragon. Yeah, I know. It do be a bit like that. Okay. I can't believe this. Oh yeah, and another sh I forgot about the shooting star, but that's fine. The shooting star isn't as high a priority. I can't believe I'm going to be in the vicinity for this. This is, this is awesome. I had so much trouble hunting this thing down. I wonder if it's taking a different path now. Come here. Come here, bastard. This look- this dragon looks so derpy. Okay, do you have... You do? Yes. Give me more of these. It's cool that you can walk on them now. I just need a scale from it, so... I won't be able to get the star, the sun's rising. That's fine. Oh! You can just do that. Before it even goes anywhere. Well, that's... that's easier. I mean, to get a scale, that, that's the easier method. I wonder where it's going now. I might just hit a ride on it. For a while. Maybe just periodically shoot it. <laughs> Wait, can I make a campfire on the dragon? Now hear me out, chat. I just want to test something. Does this count as... it doesn't. Okay, okay, this is just, just testing, just testing. I just want, I just wanted to see. Ok, 
Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just, I just want something to act as stable ground. Okay, without getting blown away, without getting blown away. I don't want this to get blown away. I'm trying, I'm trying to wedge this in here. Okay, that, that looks good to me. Okay, the problem is the wind kicks up. I, I need it to not kick up. Okay, uh, I'm going to take a second one out now. Oh, that one's about to go if I don't hurry. You might be asking what what am I doing? I have dreams. Oh no. Structure unstable! <laughs> okay. <laughs> stop, please, stop grabbing that one. I don't want to grab that one. You want to talk about distractions? <laughs> okay. It's fine, it's fine. I think the gods are about to say no to what I'm trying to do here. Uh oh. Oh, that's me. That's me. It's okay. I can fix this. What? What is it that's doing it? The bow. Or the bow. Okay. Okay, we're fine. Kinda. Okay, now we're not. Now we're not. Shit. I'm trying to make a house up here. I was trying to put a roof. And then some flooring. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna have to try it like this. It's just hard, because it keeps moving. Because I know the wood will definitely fall off. Wait, someone made a house on the dragon? Yeah, this is the problem here. It doesn't count as stable ground. Did it on the face. On the face? I mean, I'm on the the head. I mean, I feel like that's that's showing off. I don't know why this doesn't count as stable ground.
Come back. Okay, okay, okay. It, it just keeps rolling. Well, okay, that, that's fine. I want to see to what extent this works. It didn't start a campfire, though. There's probably a way to do it. Oh, this is about to vanish. Eh. What have I got in Zonite devices? Hang on. I guess that's the end of my history. I want to go down history. Too many flying devices. End of record. Alright. Well, I tried. Where am I right now, anyway? Co coincidentally, over... Uh... Huh. Maybe I should ride this thing for just a little bit longer. Because this is going to mark the path almost perfectly. So that I'm sure I'm going to have to come back and get the claw and the horn and everything. So you're telling me they did, did it on the face. What makes the face so special? Can you attach stuff? Oh, that is that is one derpy face. <laughs> it's such a derpy looking dragon. But I mean, if we look at the path it's taking... Oh, this, it's going... It's on surface level now. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll hop off when I see a shrine that I haven't done yet. How about that? Sound good? I mean, this is cool that you can do this, though. Look at the view. It's like under the mouth. How? I mean, I'm sure this is something where they've gone extremely creative on it. And brought a structure. And use the auto build thing to do it. I'm sure there's a way. Just made something that fits over the snout of the dragon. I can imagine how it's done. It looks like wood, then yeah, they, they most definitely brought... They added something to their auto-build favorites and then put it over the dragon, most likely. Have I not seen a new shrine yet? Okay, I mean, we're, we're heading towards um, the Great Plateau. So, I mean, once we get over there, I'm sure we'll, we'll spot something. 
But at least this is useful information because now I can I can see the path it takes. It's just the eyes, I don't know. It's, it just looks derpy. Like, not a, not a thought going on. Not a care in the world. Okay, well that's a landmark, that's the tower. So at the very least I have that. This is going to be useful because now I know which ones here, yeah, right? Okay, 2 o'clock. 2 p.m. 3 p.m. roughly is when it passes um, this area. So noted. <laughs> Thank you for gifting that sub to color in the low. This definitely feels like the spirit of it if I'm like this. I haven't gone to do one of those in a while. Fair enough. Well, it is very much appreciated. Uh, okay. Either I'm not seeing it or maybe the render distance is... This may be a bit too far, and so it's just not showing it. I can see the tower, but there's just no shrines, which I refuse to believe. That's the bridge of there, there has to be one on that bridge. Let me look. It, I think there is. Yeah, what's that? What's that there? That looks like something. I wonder if I've sat on this thing long enough for it to reset. Oh, it did. Ha! <laughs> it did. Shit, I should have shot the horn. Ha! Huh. So you can just sit on this thing and then farm it that way. Um... Is it bad that I kind of just want to sit on this thing and, and get the horns? Because this, this dragon is the biggest pain in the ass to, to get materials from. Go for it. Uh, I mean, it might take a while, but I guess just periodically check, right? Oh, this is this is going to be the best stream ever. I still haven't seen a shrine that I can go do. That's just a campfire. It shows a campfire, but not a shrine. Oh, there's one. Okay, we got one.
I wonder how long it takes for it to reset. Well, that arrow is... Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. I think I know how to tell, chat. Its eyes were doing something weird before. Let me see. But the eyes kind of had to shimmer to it, and now they don't. First fish <laughs> streams and now dragon streams. Listen, I've had people watch me do something for hours and hours on end for a multitude of reasons. Like, I don't know, hitting my head against a brick wall for... for Breath of the Wild for four hours now! <laughs> Get back up. Reddit claims once every ten minutes in real time. Did I really spend, like, ten minutes trying to make a house on... on the dragon? Dragon, please! <laughs> Oh, I think this is... Oh, there's another tower, though. This is the memory I need to get over here. I might drop off and just say, screw it. Whoa. Is that an oil rig? Interesting path let's take. Is it is it doing like a It's almost like its travel of path is like a sine wave. Eh, not really. I don't think it's been ten minutes since I shot it. Yeah. Okay, but I should be able to spot this out from here. Let's... This is useful. The reset is indicated by its back spikes glowing. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. For now, let's just use this time to... Spot out... There it is. Crap. Which pin is useless? That's useless. This one's probably useless. Okay, there's the memory right there. And then we just convert it to a stop. I mean, if you're watching the stream, go find a dragon and go sit on it, I guess, is the strategy. And just chill. <laughs> Every now and then, shoot the dragon. See if we can spot some shrines in this area. The 
the fuck is... Wait, what? What's that? What did I mark over there? I'm not sure what that is. I'll leave it. That is the memory I need to go get. I'm being a little impatient. There's a chasm there, which to no surprise. How am I not spotting out more shrines? I'm kind of surprised at the lack. It's got to be a render thing. Like, maybe it's just not showing them on screen at this height. It's probably that, so it's not that useful for, uh, for finding shrines being up here, but I spotted the memory, so it's not a complete waste, and I'll get a horn. Sorry, this is Dragon's face. Oh, man. It's so different than the others. Yeah, I'm willing to believe the moment- Oh, there's another one. The moment I drop off this thing... I'll see more shrines. Oh, there's another. Okay, we're starting to see them now. But yeah, I'll get off this thing once I can get a horn. I don't know why I find this face just so funny. Ooh, Gleok. Hopefully, ooh, hopefully it doesn't... Nah, I'm way too high up. That would be uh, some shit if it started attacking me. Does that look like it's glowing? That looks like... It's so hard to tell. <laughs> no? Oh, there, uh, okay. Okay, yep. Yeah. I don't know why, yeah. Okay, there we go. That kind, that kind of hurt my eyes a little. Alright, I'm getting off it now. I've had my fun. Uh, where is the memory? There's also... Okay, hang on. I'm gonna run off the back of it. <laughs> is that lit up? Is that lit up, though? Alright, farewell, dragon. I'll go get the memory. And it would appear jumping into the chasm has, uh, its benefits, too. Comedic timing, as always. Man, the view in this looks so good.
I, I should now re-equip this. That's how the sky will look like, very orange. That's, it is nice when the sky does that. Here we get that, and sometimes we get pink skies. Sorry, I thought I heard... I may have been imagining it. Pretty positive this is the one. <laughs> Thanks for the click. Add it. Pretty sure this is five. If it's not, if not, well, apologies. But I did check. So did I check correctly? I put it in this code with all the other ones. Yeah, this, this the seems fine. The war, yeah, this is fine. On behalf of the Gerudo, for taking so long to accept your repeated invitations, hmm. it is our desire to be accepted into the protective embrace of your kingdom, to serve it faithfully. A welcome appeal, Ganondorf. I will accept your vow of fealty to the kingdom of Hyrule. I understand that a single male is born to the Gerudo every 100 years. Receiving such an appeal from you, a hero to his people and a king by birth, well, it is truly reassuring. It is my honor. When your Zonai ancestors first descended upon these lands long, long ago, they must have seemed to be gods. And now you rule as king, and have taken a Hyrulean woman as your wife. Is it Hyrulean or is it Hylian? Because I feel like they interchanged that. Your admirable lineage. Most impressive. Hmm. It is or is there a difference? That the noble Zonai no longer hmm. grace this world with their presence. I'm oh, sorry. All except you and your sister, that is. Even if something were to happen to me, both my kingdom and the peace it brings, these will endure for generations to come. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I've heard Hylian a lot, but every now and then in-game they say Hyrulean. I look forward to your future endeavors. You may leave. Your Majesty. Sinister music. King Roru, I believe that man's heart holds many dark ambitions. Just you assume me. they were interchangeable. Yeah. They usually go with one or the other. I am well aware of his evil nature. For that reason, and others, I want him close. It will be easier to keep an eye on him. <sighs> there is nothing to worry about. It would be like if we said Australian and Australia are in, you know? Australia are in. <laughs> just the extra pronunciation. I don't know, it's weird. Like, Hyrulean is weird. Because it's just the word, the country, and then Ian at the end of it. Okay. Well, that was the correct memory. Yeah, we're good. So we're up to eight. Oh. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. Uh, where is it? One, two, three, four. Five, six, 
seven. The next one is the the sad Zora's domain. What the fuck was that? Listen. We don't worry about such things just yet. When I get to a tower, I can show what that was. It's not number eight. I'm on number six. What? It says memory... S this, num this numbering system is confusing. Okay, ignoring the one that I accidentally got, which was that one. Wait, no, that one. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, yeah, so it is six then. Okay, so then, um, back to this one, that's, okay, hang on, one, two, three, four, Okay, so it's like, it's the queen. It's the one of the queen. Unless I'm mistaken... Is it not that one? Oh, well, yeah, I don't know. I'll worry about it later. Trying to get to the abyss. Ooh, these are... I believe these are one tier higher. I mean, yeah. Let's just get to the abyss. Oh, the cave is here. I should go to the cave. I want to see what's in here. There were weapons in here in Breath of the Wild. Wait, what the fuck is that? That's either environmental or it's something. Or it's a Korok. I can't rule it out. Okay, it's environmental. Wait, can I make a... Get... What, what on earth would this achieve? A tumbleweed shield. I guess I'll find out. Well, I have a shield of it now, so... A 25 bow. Let's see if we have anything worse than 25. That doesn't count. I mean, that one I'm hanging on to. Not really. Okay. Um. Okay, so it's the half of what the cave used to be. I'm surprised it's not registering this as a cave, even though it technically is, but okay. It's not coming up as a cave on the map. 
Oh, there's a lot of these. Okay, just for shits and giggles, we're gonna find out. Tumbleweed stick, tumbleweed shield, what do they do? Damn it, Cholin! <laughs> I mean, good job, but... Let's let's see. Here we go. Opportunity. What does what does tumbleweed mean for us? It doesn't mean anything. It's it's as dumb as I thought it would be. Oh, the tumbleweed's already it just shattered. All right now. We're done playing. <laughs> Don't think this is gonna let me wait. Oh, wow, it works. Convenient. Alright. I mean, I'm close. What am I close to? I'm close to... Oh, there it is. I was like, where's the tower? I'll get to Tarrytown and I'll, I'll, I guess, give context to the, the screenshot you may have seen. This is another one of these ones where I have to go under, isn't it? Okay, we have to go under. Follow the blue bee. Swap to something that has armor. Oh, I have to build a raft. Wait, what do I have to build a raft for? I'm going to keep a record of my time working on the Skyview Tower in the Gerudo Highlands. Day one, we've arrived. Unfortunately, a heavy snowstorm blew in as soon as we started. We had to stop and take shelter in a nearby cave. Good news, the cave is warm and safe. We decided to use our, is as our base camp for the rest of the project. The cave is bigger than any of us could have imagined. We explored 
the inside by following the water downstream. When we were deep in the cave, we heard some hammering. I don't know how a sound from outside made it this far down. Okay, so it's just saying that it's connected. Um... Well, I mean, there's a, there's a stream, so... I think I, I think I got what it's gonna get me to do. That worked. Oh, it's clearly marked. That's easy. Oh no, yeah, that's- that's totally how time travel works. There we go. It's been a while since I've gotten a tower. Looks like a Gliok Arena to me. Unbearably cold. Hang on. Okay, what's around? Let's see. <laughs> the saxophone Zelda's trying to put you in the mood. Oh man, it's funny. Yeah, uh, I didn't see anything I could really do with Sky Island, so let's put a pin on that for now. Oh right, I can't even do this. I mean, I guess I could wear this. Temp just getting very high. Uh uh oh. Uh oh. I don't have anything to deal with this. 
That's a, that does that's not the same thing. Um, do I have? Okay, I may have frozen food. I may have frozen food. Okay, that that'll do. Good enough. Ooh, the desert effect. I don't know if it's just me, but it the uh the heat waves look a bit more obvious this time around. Like to me, it seems more obvious that uh, it is hot here. Anyway, we're we're diving. Do I have a sapphire? I should have a few. Should have plenty. I could make a stick with a sapphire. It's not a bad idea. I could also use um, an ice-like stone. We'll go Ant-Man. Oh, there's water here? What the fuck? I've never seen water down here before. Okay, I see a... But I'm not sure that's the one we're looking for. Fuck off! <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to it because I thought they were going to get dealt with. May as well, right? Okay, that light route looks closer. I just want to get to the light route and then leave. Uh, that looks like an abyss that I shouldn't go down. I mean, even this is a bit sketchy. Wow, that goes down. Yeah, I got the feeling this is the wrong... Ja! What the fuck? I almost died. Huh. That's not a good sign. But oh, that is way down there. I think I've done the wrong thing, but we'll see. I'll just glide to it. This is definitely wrong. This is probably the one directly under the Gerudo Valley. It says Gerudo Highlands, so I guess we'll see. Uh... Yes. <laughs> okay. I mean, I was going to wrap up soon and play Diablo. So. Controller being low on battery, that's a good indicator. Not yet. We'll do a little bit more. Oh, this looks intricate. Uh -huh. 
Let's see where this leads. Because it's kind of... Yeah, I don't think I can go further up. Alright, screw it. I thought maybe I could climb back up this way, but... Apparently it's correct. No, wait, no, it's not. It's further back. Okay, so I went... Right, I went down an extra one. Alright, well, there's a shrine over there. Let's go do that shrine. I kind of figured it was wrong. <laughs> PRB 20 30 minutes, go do chores. Now, all good, dude. Where is he? You know, I'm lucky this isn't freezing cold. Oh. I guess this is the only way out, huh? Now, you know what? Useful, because I can just go straight there. Yeah, I think getting to the Gerudo Valley is priority. Also, getting shot out of this tower when the Light Dragon's here, is all it almost aligns perfectly with where it was. I need to do more upgrading. you're speaking a certain form of English, you'll say root. Which... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. English is weird. Hmm. Okay. I mean, that's the end point, so... Where is Ball? Another ball over there? Why? Okay, I'm curious about this. I mean, let's just... I think maybe that's not overcomplicated. I think that's where I end up. And this is just the very simple puzzle. I see. Okay, this is what I need to do. I need to... Stop it. Then glide. Okay, 
I went too far. Am I dead? <laughs> okay. No. Damn it. Come back. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Wait, it's not even this one? So why did I bring this with me? Well, fuck me then. Interesting. I think I know what it wants me to do. I think this is pretty much just stopping it in the right spot, like that. There we go. Okay. Oh, I see. Using this as a platform. That makes sense. Let's see if this is over complication. It is not. It stopped it. Alright, that was fine. Except for the part where I fell in, but everything else is fine now. Okay. I feel like right now it's easier for me to get shot out of the cannon. <laughs> Again. Just keep going back to the cannon. Hey, Lolo guys, thanks for the bits. How's it going? Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't want to... 
to stop going down the rabbit hole of exploring the highlands. All right, there's another, there's another one down here. Let's go. It's night time, so I shouldn't need to worry about heat yet. Wait, what's, where's red? Red is that way. It's that one. What's the pattern on the glider? Uh, the Twilight Princess Amiibo. It's the uh, pattern of Twilights. Oh, this is all quicksand now. Ooh, am I am I not gonna like the desert even more now? I mean, I'm all for it. Just as annoying as it's gonna be, I do appreciate the depths. Bridging the sands. I love bridges. It's not instant, surely. Yeah, it's not. Ooh, it it, it ate stamina though. Okay, but look, can we can we talk about something? <laughs> like, I under I I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Where is the end of the shrine? I do appreciate what it wants me to do. I really do. But I could skip this whole thing. Is there quicksand in Australia? Probably. I mean, we have a desert. That one I'm not sure of. How would I? Uh... Hold on. Alright. Well, I guess I'll show my... The thing that I resort to every time to get distance. Okay, all you need is two platforms. Okay, so this is what you do. Hold it in the air for a few seconds. Bring it down. Reverse time. Again. Now we go even higher. There's a ladder there, but I'm curious, there's this thing all the way up the back. Oh well, but, I mean... 
If I was to do it high enough, I'm sure I could get across that properly. It's just a certain shrines where it just feels repetitive more than a challenge. But maybe I'm wrong about this one. That's interesting. Shit, it's going backwards. Why does interact and activate have to be the same button? Get it to go to the side there, but it's just not letting me. I need to let it go further back. I swear it's gonna sink. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there it is, there it is. That's the ticket. Alright. Oh, I was gonna say it doesn't let you, really? understand the point to this. Sir, please. That's, that's great. Alright. Was this just fetch? That's it. This was just fetch. off. Apparently auto build's not allowed in here. Oh, 
am I trying to do here? It needs to be facing down. Like that. Okay. It's fine. Probably would have solved it the intended way if I went with that. Eh, I mean. The intended way is boring. <laughs> Convolution is fun. Face the other way. I want to make this work. Okay, get this, get this off. Starting to get lazy now. I, th I think even this is incorrect. Oh no, no, I think well, it might be fine. Okay. enough as long as it takes off that might not take off that might all right Oh, you suck. <laughs> Uh-oh. Reverse time. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do it again. There we go. Like, sure, it took longer, but I had fun. <laughs> I need to get better at building this thing on the fly. That one was a little shoddy, but it worked. Like, building the bridge would have been easier. It would have just been putting three planks of wood together, and it would have been over and done with. Don't get me wrong, I saw the intended solution. I'm not blind. But you can play the game the intended way, or you can do stuff. To make people scream internally. I, I like to choose uh, the latter.
<laughs> trying to remember how the bike works. It's pretty straightforward, it's just... It's two fans pointing downwards at a 45 degree angle, and then you kind of attach the seat. Like, as long as you understand that conceptually. But that's not my favorite vehicle. That one, it has its problems with transporting things, but it's good for solo air travel. It, it has problems with stability. No. Oh crap, it's like... Uh, yeah, now I have a problem. Okay, hold on. I have heat resistant food for four minutes. That should get me over the line. Oh, that's fine. I'll make my favorite vehicle now. This one I don't have to think of. Whoops. Right. Shit, I got this by accident. Uh, but you know what? Since I got it out, I may as well... ...do this, right? Wait, not, not Sunshroom. Other one. This one. Oh, I hate it when it does that. I was right next to it. Quick option. There it is. That'll do. Uh, steering wheel. Ooh, it doesn't travel well on sand. That's a bit of a disappointment. It's quicker to walk at this point. Now this one is great because it has really good steering, it doesn't use much energy, and it lets you put a Korok on the hood. Um, I tried it with two wheels, but it's... two wheels works. It's just too unstable, like you kind of spin out pretty easily on two wheels. The sled's probably the best for sand mobility, yeah. But this, in terms of uh, delivering a Korok, this is great. How's three wheels? Uh, I think it'd be near impossible to center a liner, but we'll see. Okay, this is bad. I shouldn't be here. Something's going on here. I'll try three wheels and see if it works. I mean, some deviation. Could work. Yeah. Okay. But... It's kind of, it's kind of hard to tell. Because whilst this seems... Okay, there it is. Um, it seemed like it was working, it's just... I think the speed may cause spin out as well. Damn it. 
<laughs> okay, anyway, I'm gonna teleport out of here because this is bad. Um, clearly bad, so let's just do this. Leave two wheels in the front of the controller and put a third one behind. Uh, yeah, I think I know what you mean. But the, the reason I want it is like that is just to have a shelf to carry stuff on. Because the problem is the Korok, when you try to carry it, it you'd be surprised how easy that little dude causes instability. No, no, Theorycraft is fine. Don't worry about it. Um, but I will say, I think it would be fine for normal travel, but when you're putting a Korok on it, like, that thing throws the center of gravity off so easily, it's not funny. That's why I like it like that, because it's just ample room and... You'll end up with a lot of wheels, especially if you're doing the, uh, the gacha machines to get your stuff. It seems to hand out wheels quite a bit, which makes sense, because you're going to need a lot of them. Like, for one vehicle, you need at least two, so that's why the discover rate of it is, is a lot higher. Interesting. What is this- what is this trying to be, exactly? Just hear Chulin's headshot. I think it's trying to get me over there. But that is going to be a fight, which I don't want to do right now. I want to get this. Shit. Quickly move. I don't want to leave the sky, but down that goes. Okay, I'm heading to the other tower. I'm sure with a bit of experimentation, you could probably get a three-wheeler to work and stably carry a Korok. But I'm happy with the four-wheeler. It's steering is easy, it doesn't overdo it. And it climbs hills pretty well. I think we have to approach the Gerudo from that end over there, but... I have stamina food, right? Yes, okay.
Uh, let's put this on. Trying to conserve stamina. Also, landing on the roof just in case it's one of these ones that requires it. I think doesn't look like it. Alright, there we go. Is this another... Uh, what is it? It's locked, isn't it? No, it's normal. What? Oh, no, it's not. It's malfunctional. Okay, why? Why is it malfunctional? Oh, it's the president. Don't have time for the president right now. Control is about to die and I wanted to do this, but... Oh, here we go. Came to see Skyview Tower. It's a bit late. Okay, I hate to break it to you. It's out of order. Here to fix it. The elevator's broken. Just fix the elevator. Okay. Oh, that's easy. I'm surprised that worked. Oh. Nice. So we just have to make something weighted. Yes, I'm going for the ugliest looking thing. I mean, we don't want it. We don't want it to yeet the dude, right? We want to slow climb up. A gentle elevation. Look at this. Perfect elevator. Are you the one who got the elevator working? Amazing. I'll get to work fixing the Skyview Tower right away. I'm nice. Uh... Because I didn't yeet him. <laughs> I've done some... Some bad things to Korox, so I think this balances out that karma. And I've also done some heinous things at, uh, Tarrytown. My Tarrytown has strayed away from the lights.
That's all towers now, so... Memory? Nah, controller's about to die, so... I'm just gonna drop back down and leave it here and put my controller to charge. It's complained three times now, so... It is- it is definitely on the verge of going out. Alright. Nailed it. <laughs> All right. Let's save, and uh, we're gonna leave Zelda here for tonight. Hurt. You heard a star. I'm sure you did, but it's probably somewhere I can't get to in time, as there's like maybe three minutes before sunrise. So, but control's about to die, so I'm gonna leave it here. We'll return to this tomorrow. Uh. Hope you enjoyed if you're watching Zelda. Especially if you're watching later on YouTube. Thanks for sticking around to the end, and consider clicking buttons for the algorithm purposes I hear so many things about. Uh, yeah, but we'll pick this up tomorrow.